Hi students, as of July 1st, 2020, all Vermonters will be asked to no longer put food scraps in the trash. That may be an overwhelming statement for those off campus who have not yet separated food scraps from the trash before. I am here to present the basics of separating food scraps, easy ways to do so in an apartment and in Burlington. Let's get started. The first question I would be asking is, what is composting? Compost is decomposed organic matter. Organic matter is anything from an apple core to compostable packaging to leaves. Composting is a way to dispose of food scraps, leaves, or other decomposable items without adding to a landfill. When all of these items combine, they break down in a natural process to turn into a soil amendment. Now you may be wondering, why do we compost? When compostable material ends up in the trash, the energy and nutrients in it is lost. Composting allows for these scraps to be used again. Instead of sitting in a landfill, this material could eventually be used to plant a garden. Keeping as much out of a landfill as possible is another reason why composting is important. It saves space in landfills to prevent more from needing to be built or expanded upon. Composting also reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Food scraps and other organics, such as leaves or paper, break down extremely slowly in a landfill. As the landfill is an anaerobic environment, meaning it doesn't have oxygen, and oxygen is necessary for this material to decompose. Landfills are meant for containment, not decomposition. So, as these food scraps break down, they produce methane, a highly potent greenhouse gas. Methane takes in 20 times more heat than carbon dioxide. In other words, it contributes more to climate change than carbon dioxide. I do not know about you, but I want to lower the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Back on Earth, compost helps keep lakes and streams healthy. Eutrophication, the overgrowth of algae leading to a dead zone, an area where no marine species can survive, is a process that occurs when fertilizer runs off into water bodies. Compost is this natural soil amendment and prevents some runoff from going into streams because it helps hold moisture in the soil. Compost feeds the soil naturally and slowly. Other than environmental motives, the reason to divert food scraps from the landfill is because it is required by law. This will be a huge adjustment, and no one will be handing you a fine for a banana peel in your wastebasket. The goal is to prevent as much food waste from going to the landfill as possible, and I hope to inspire you to do so. Being required to compost may seem daunting, but composting is actually easier than it seems. The first step to prevent your food scraps from going to the landfill is getting a container to store your compost. CSWD, the Chittenden Solid Waste District, offers free buckets to residents who are going to drop compost off at one of CSWD's centers. Burlington has one on Pine Street. They also sell smaller kitchen pails and large backyard bins. However, if you do not want to make the trip to buy one from CSWD, reuse a container you may already have to collect your food scraps. A compost bin can be any container with a lid that seals. It could be as small as a yogurt container or as large as a five gallon bucket, like the yellow buckets that kitty litter comes in. Either way, line the bottom of this bucket with a paper towel or a piece of newsprint to make emptying easier and help keep your bucket clean. The second step to composting is to collect your scraps. All food can be collected for drop-off composting, including meat, but if you choose to backyard compost, keep meat and bones out of your pile to prevent animals from being attracted to the bin and to minimize odor. Keep stinkier items like meat, bones, and dairy stored in a bag in the fridge or freezer until it is time to collect the bin. For paper and cardboard, look on the item to see a BPI symbol or the word compostable written. The final step in this process is to drop off your food scraps. In Burlington, the drop-off location is 339 Pine Street. There's also a location in South Burlington at 87 Landfield Road, off of Patchen Road, not too far from higher ground. It is free to drop off compost if you are also dropping off trash or recycling, or it is 150 per five pound bucket if you are only bringing food scraps. If you do not want to drop off your compost, you can talk to your landlord about options to find a trash and recycling pickup service or find a company in the Burlington area that can come to you. If you choose to on-site compost, there are many options such as earthworm bins or tumbler composters. Vermicomposting, or composting with worms, requires a bin and worms. The worms help to break down compost quickly. Sets for this type of composting can be bought online or in person at a store. 
A tumbler compost is a compost system that has the ability to rotate around an axle. This method is supposed to give you compost soil in less time than just a bin. Both of these methods produce soil amendments, or fertilizer, at home that can be used for gardening or other purposes. Companies that are available for off-campus students living in the Burlington area are Earth Girl Composting, Casella Waste Systems, Duffy's Waste and Recycling, Grow Compost, No Waste Compost, and Some Dudes Composting Company. Each of these companies has a small fee for picking up compost at intervals you decide. With that in mind, I wish you luck in your composting journey.